All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and today, of course, the 100% of the video will be about Argentina and all the things or the 90% of the things that happened during the game last night and uh, and especially all those things that happened that are in somehow related to Real Madrid, right? Or will impact to um, Real Madrid future and all the stuff, right? So I'm going to start off saying something about, um, I mean, the best player the best player of the game, which to me was Leo Messi, right? Messi finally got his trophy. Everybody, I mean, I think that the whole world were was waiting for for this to happen, right? At some point, Leo Messi, everybody agreed he really deserved a World Cup, right? And I don't want to talk about any controversy. I don't want to talk about anything you know, uh, regarding to what happened with the referees um, over the course of the World Cup and all this stuff. And I mean, to me, Messi, I'm happy for him. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy for Leo Messi. I don't really like the guy, but what I really hate is the rest of the their national team, man. I mean, I have seen a lot of videos leaked and footage leaked from the celebrations, man. And it made me nuts because they were all the Argentinian players were pretty much insulting to Real Madrid and Real Madrid players. They were making fun and mocking uh, Kylian Mbappe and then making fun of Camavinga. I mean, insulting him, right? And um, yeah, that is not the way to go, man. I would be okay with them if they celebrate everything with respect. Problem is, these guys, they all they, they, they always do the same and they know them because they are Latinos like me. So, well, I'm not Latino, but we speak Spanish. So, I know the men, and they, when, I mean, what happened against uh, the Netherlands, right? What happened with the, with the orange team, it was pretty much, I knew, I knew the argument. I knew they were going to say, no, they were provoking us. They said this, they said that in the press conference, and you cannot, you're not supposed to talk before the game. You have to talk in the game, in the pitch and stuff. But it's not real, it's not true, and it's a big lie by the Argentinian side. These guys will insult you every time they think they have to. They will insult you every time they want to be fun and they want to be, you know, the... It, when, when they want to catch the spotlight, they insult other people, they make fun of other people, they are not respectful with other players. And they're, they're a gang. They're a gang. I mean, that's it. A gang, gang members, right? That, that, that is to, what, to me, they are nowadays, right? So I don't want to talk too much about them because I, I do not respect them, honestly. I really hate Argentina, the Argentine national team, of course. And uh, all the insults I have to read, I have had to read in my uh, inbox, right? Whether it's in Facebook or Instagram and all the stuff. I think that it reveals a lot of, or a big part of the mentality of these people, right? So I do not respect them too much. But when it comes to Leo Messi, it's different as he is the best, of course. He's a great player. I think he's a, he's a great person as well. And he really deserved that trophy. Then, um... Once I have said this, uh, with that being said, let me go ahead with the next one, which is, I think, more important for Los Madridistas, because I think that today we all agree Kylian Mbappe has to play for Real Madrid. I mean, there's no other way. The guy scored three goals, and uh, all those Madridistas, all the comments, all the opinions I have read um, in the different social media platforms, whether it's in Twitter, Instagram, and all the stuff, they are all supporting, right, the signing of Kylian Mbappe for Real Madrid. So, if Florentino Perez is still wide open, right, to sign Kylian Mbappe, my opinion is all those Madridistas have forgiven to Kylian Mbappe and they would be okay with the signing of the French player as he proved everybody in the most critical moments, in the, in the hardest moments, he shows up, he pops up, and he tries his best to win. So we need that kind of player. We need uh, players like Kylian Mbappé with that heart, with that mentality, with a Madridista mentality. So, man, my opinion is this guy has to play for us. 
I mean, and I am one of uh, the, you know, Madridistas. I am one of those Madridistas who really think he has he has to play in Madrid. Of course, and no matter what he did, no matter um, how bad it was, he really has to play for Real Madrid. And let me tell you, he really wants to play for Real Madrid. And I've been talking a lot about this, man. I've been talking about um, how the situation right now within PSG is not great. Because I think the player is still mad, is angry, he feels betrayed just because um, Al Khalifi didn't what he was supposed to do. He um, didn't accomplish what he was supposed to accomplish, right? He was supposed to sign players and coach and, and stuff that Kylian Mbappe wanted, to, wanted him to do, but he didn't. He didn't, and I think that Mbappe still feels betrayed, and that's why I think he still thinks uh, in Real Madrid. And he's, in my opinion, one of the players El Madridismo would be okay signing to. I mean, there's no other, right? And if you think about it, we still have an emergency, right? An emergency in attack. We don't know what's going to happen with Benzema. And we don't know uh, if his injury is going to be okay or no. So, um, man, what we have to do, of course, is... Um, what we have to do is try to forget all the things that he did in understanding. The first thing is understanding uh, why he did that. I mean, he had all the pressure from the president of the French, French Republic, right? Emmanuel Macron. He had all the pressure from um, Qatar. He had a lot of pressure from PSG side. He had multiple different pressures, right? So um, that's why, that's why um, I think he did what he did. I mean, there's no, there, there was no other way around. There was no way out for him other than signing the extension and that's it. And that is what he did. But now I think that he now is more mature. He is um, a little bit different, right? I think that he has seen with his own eyes, right, that he uh, cannot trust in Alpela Al Kelaifi or PSG anymore. So that is why right now I think that he's ready to go. And just in case, for example, um Frontino Perez make the call, my opinion is he will say yes. I mean with no hesitation at all. As he thinks in order for him to be the best, he has to go to Real Madrid. And now I think that he has understood everything. He has understood why it was going to be a good thing for him to um not only to win this World Cup, but also um, to join Real Madrid. Real Madrid is the best team in the world, man. It is the best team in the world. So if you want to be the best in the world, you have to play in the best team in the world. So, man, I mean, it is what it is. So if he thinks about that, if he thinks um, hard about his future, I think that he will try. He will try to... Um, he will try to look for the best for him, not like he did last summer, and he will try to join Real Madrid, of course, and, and I would be okay with that. I mean, I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me, um, doesn't really matter to me what he did, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad or angry anymore with him. I mean, I, I really understood, um, I mean, I, I have, I have uh, understood what happened, man, and I, and it is what it is, man. I I don't wanna I don't wanna judge this guy. I don't wanna judge this player. He's great. I mean, no matter what I say, no matter what I said, no matter no matter no matter what, no matter how bad, you know, he did what he did and, and stuff. But that's it, man. And we don't have to keep talking about it. We don't have to keep talking about it. I mean, it is what it is. Mbappe is great. He's one of the best ones. And of course, we need him, right? We need him in Real Madrid. And that's it. So I don't know what's going to happen, man. But to me, I mean, I, I want to know your thoughts about that. I want to know your opinion about it. And I want you guys to say something about it and just go for it, man. I mean, you're free. Freedom of speech in my platform, right? So um, just go ahead and try it, man. Just go ahead and say whatever you want to say. If you're okay for Mbappe coming to Real Madrid, if you're not okay with that, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, the the only thing is I want to see Kylian Mbappe. Uh, 
uh, in in Madrid, right? In in, the, in it it is it has to be what it has to be, man. Um, Kylian Mbappe has born, I mean, was born to play in Real Madrid because he, he's one of the greatest players in the world. I mean, we have to be honest at this point. And is Cristiano Ronaldo once he retires? My opinion is, yeah, he has to come to Real Madrid and really replace, right? to um, Cristiano Ronaldo, man. It's, uh, he's great, he's awesome. He, and, and all Real Madrid, you know, uh, fans want, really want to, uh, really want to um, uh, see him, right, in, uh, in Real Madrid. But let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So yeah, that is, that is the video today. It's, I mean, it's not great right because there's no too much rumors and, and stuff about signings today everything is the consequence of the of the world cup but let me know your thoughts about that 